Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone. So, it's been a while, I know. Um, as you can probably see by the title of this video, I have been taking a little break from YouTube. I'm making this video to basically explain everything to do with that break, why I took it and what is basically going to be happening on this channel um, for the time being over close season. So yeah, it's weird to be sitting down and talking into a camera again. It's literally been like two months since I've done this properly. So yeah, as I say, I've got a lot of things to talk about. So yeah, let's get right into it with, first of all, a bit of an explanation. So yeah, why did I take this break? What have I been doing? Where have I been? Basically, to explain this, we need to go right back to like kind of September time where the madness that was Halloween really began on this channel. As I'm sure many of you guys know, I did another year of construction updates for Fright Nights um, right throughout the month of September up to the start of Fright Nights where I covered everything there was to cover in terms of Fright Nights at Fort Park. I uploaded more videos than I ever have in regards to the Fright Nights this year. And I obviously went to loads of other Halloween events throughout October, ones that I'd never been to before. And yeah, I was having an amazing time vlogging it all. The channel was doing so well, like I'd never seen views that, as high as they were throughout October and September. I even got to the point where this channel got featured on the YouTube trending page as um, I was a creator on the rise, which was honestly the maddest thing and I have you guys to thank for that because yeah, the support you guys showed throughout October was insane. So yeah, thank you guys. But yeah, obviously I was having an amazing time of it all and then, I don't know, Halloween just kind of ended and I kind of found myself feeling a bit unmotivated, full park had closed um, and yeah, at that point, I did the same last year in where I just took a few weeks off like from YouTube, didn't upload a video. I was planning on doing the same this year but it kind of extended from a few weeks into a whole month where I've basically not been doing anything in regards to YouTube. As I say, I was edit I've been editing a few videos but not a lot apart from that. Like It's nice to relax after the busyness and the mayhem that was October. So yeah, that's basically the reason I've been taking a break. I didn't want to just upload videos for the sake of it or anything. So I thought I'd leave it a month and now I think I'm ready. I'm in a point where I'm ready to start uploading again, ready to enjoy it and yeah, closed season content is, is coming. I will be discussing just what I have planned for closed season in just a little bit. But before we go on to that, the next thing I talk about is another reason why I haven't been uploading throughout the last month or so. So yeah, I got a job, basically. Normally, I wouldn't really talk about this kind of thing um, on my YouTube channel, but I feel like you guys might be kind of interested with this job that I've got. Basically, I am working at Hyde Park's Winter Wonderland, which I'm sure all of you know what it is, but just in case you don't, it's essentially the UK's biggest Christmas event. My official job role is a photographer. So yeah, most of the time I'm taking pictures, I'm doing loads of other things. So, so yeah, if you head down to Winter Wonderland and see me about, be sure to come and say hello. Oh my God. It's cool being able to work at one of these events and like, see kind of the runnings of it and stuff. So yeah, I'm really enjoying it there. So as I said, with it now being closed season, it is a bit harder to film my normal kind of videos because normally I'm at theme parks vlogging or talking about theme parks, but that's not gonna stop me from uploading to this channel. I've got a load of cool plans to keep the videos coming throughout closed season. Obviously, we're gonna be talking about um, Fort Park and what's gonna be coming um, in 2019. And obviously, last year we did the winter construction updates where we kind of walked around the edge of the park and looked at what was happening. Those videos will be returning. And yeah, in terms of other stuff, I'll be discussing any other news we get from theme parks. Um, and yeah, be sure to let me know if you ever want to see any kind of videos, guys. Uh, tweet me or comment them down below and I'll definitely look into making it happen. Um, there is actually a video that I do need help from you guys for. Um, so yeah, let's get on to that. 
So yeah, about two times every year I like to film a Q&A video and I thought with it now being closed season there's no better time to film one of those so if you guys could leave a comment down below on this video I will be going through and answering as many of those as possible for um, this Q&A video that will be coming out fairly soon hopefully. They don't necessarily have to be theme park related questions, they can of course be, but they can also be personal questions about my life and yeah, just ask any question you want. I will also be putting out a tweet um, a few days before I film that video so if you don't have a YouTube account or anything you can always tweet me a question closer to the time but yeah I'll be picking a mixture of the YouTube comments and the Twitter questions to film this video. So yeah feel free to ask me any questions down below. So that brings me on to the final thing I'm going to discuss in this video. It is that time of year again where the Clamshell Awards are here and last year we did amazingly. Um, this channel got nominated for the best vlogger category and the best established channel, both of which I was so happy to even be nominated for, especially the best established channel. The description for that is literally like your go-to theme park YouTube channel, so the fact that I was nominated for that last year was insane. Um, and yet, yeah, nominations are once again open for that. So to nominate your favorite channels, the link to the blog post all about the Clamshell Awards is in the description, so if you click on that, and there's basically a template that you can message cupcakes and coasters and yeah you can nominate all of your favorite um theme park youtube channels and there's loads of other categories like there's a blog um category there's a podcast one there's a gaming one so it's not just about youtube but yeah if you nominate all of your favorite theme park related people slash pages then yeah that'd be cool and obviously if you do enjoy my content then it would be amazing if you could nominate me but yeah definitely support the clamshell awards because they're such a cool thing they really bring the community together and yeah i also need to say a big thank you to you guys for voting me fifth place in the ride rater vlogger awards that was so cool to even be nominated for that again yeah thank you guys so much for voting me we got fifth place which is amazing so yeah that is i think everything i wanted to talk to you guys about in this video I am very happy to be back here on YouTube and I'm excited to start making some cool videos again. Videos will be coming out as regularly as possible from now on, so yeah, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon to be notified every single time I upload a new video. And yeah, don't forget to leave a question down below in the comments for the upcoming Q&A video. And be sure to nominate your favourite theme park pages slash people for the Clamshell Awards. And yeah, otherwise, I do hope you guys have enjoyed this video. My name is Sexual Stone. Goodbye.